What's up, YouTube? MenRQ. Mendenhall PC video. We're going to go least to greatest, and then at the end, I'm going to ramble on. We're only doing the hits. Uh, no jerseys, just patches and autographs. Not saying I have. Jeez. And I... look at my tripod. Three boxes of cards. Ghetto? I think so. Okay. Any money it falls one more time during this video. That should be good. Okay. Only patches and autographs. I'm not saying I have the best collection. I only have like, what, eight cards here? Yeah, eight cards. So, but they're pretty cool. And I uh, just wanted to show them off. I've already done one of these videos. And I haven't really got a lot in since the video. But <clears throat> felt like doing it. But enough talk. And on to the cards gonna ramble at the end if you want to stay tuned to listen to that first sorry if there's a glare on all these cards they're in the team bags and the magnetics so we have a patch of Mendenhall and Lima Swede both two color patches Swede has a lot more stitching and that is numbered out of 25 I try to focus it a little better but I don't want to touch the camera because it'll probably fall again so bear with me Next, I got this in a Just Because from Red Sox XFN. A dual patch from Rookie Threads over Shard Mendenhall. This one's numbered to 75. <clears throat> three color patch. Dual three color patch from Gridiron Gear 2010. Out of 25. Now onto the autographs. I think I have five of these. Yep, five. This one's not in the team bag. I don't know why. Should be. Uh, this is my newest edition, which I got like three months ago, so that's pretty sad. Um, out of 350, Richard Mendenhall, 2008 Upper Deck Heroes. You need to get the gold out of 75 version. So that's pretty cool. Uh, next. <clears throat> We have a, this was actually my first Mendenhall card. We have a 2008 Absolute Memorabilia Rookie Premier Materials Jersey Football Jersey Autograph. This one is out of 299 Now the, re the last three are 5 star, which Mendenhall doesn't sell very well on high 5 star, which I don't get because it's a high end product. Um, first we have the um, regular veteran autograph, I guess you can call it, uh, silver border, the borders are the best thing about these cards, they're really nice looking, really defined detail, again, I'm not going to focus it, but this one's out of 50, autograph, pretty cool, the next one is a three color patch, there's a little bit of white up there in the top, above the black, but you can't really see it, too well. Uh, three color patch of Mendenhall and it's also autographed of course. Numbered out of 30. 2010 5 star. Now on to the best one in my opinion. Card sells for like, I put it on eBay. You can, a trick that I found, you can put cards on eBay um, and put the reserve price at like 200 bucks and um, see how much people will buy your cards, and that's what you can value it at if it's really low numbered so it doesn't book. That's what I did with this one. It's a Mendenhall Dwyer dual autograph from 2010 5 star, numbered 3 of 5 in the bottom left corner. And uh, I put it on eBay, um, and it the final bid was like 37 bucks. Since it's PC, I put a reserve price on it for like 200 bucks, so no one would win it, obviously. But the val it's only valued at like 35 bucks, which I think is pathetic since it's numbered out of 5. But uh, that's how the cookie crumbles. So there's my PC showcase over Shard Mendenhall. Now on to the rambling. If you're one of my true subscribers, you may be interested in this. But uh, first I'd like to say I was home from school today. Um, 
I ran the pacer test in gym. We had to do 51 up backs up and down the gym, and I only did 48. Um, and I basically just completely almost blacked out, threw up six times in the trash can, either five or six. I lost count after five, and uh, it was just not a good time. So that's that. Second of all, I wanted to show you guys a monster trade I did. Uh, blind trade with the puff bear. Let me go get it. I just hit my head on the corner of my desk. Fail for the win. Um, jeez. Ah, oh, that hurt. All right. Puff Bear. He doesn't mind you me sharing his address. The Madden RQ Refractor Package. It doesn't even seal up. I gotta tape it like crazy. You know how much that's gonna cost to ship? There are like eight, like 65 refractors in there. Um, all top loaded. So, there's that. God, that hurt. I freaking hit my head. Ah, <sighs> great. Okay. Um,. I'm going to try to go on a Mendenhall buying binge. Uh, the thing I figured out is when I buy the cards, um, <clears throat> I've been doing buy it nows except for this one. Uh, that one I bid on. I forget what I got it for. Um, <clears throat> but all the rest of them I did buy it nows or trades. This one I think I bought for like 30 20 I don't mind sharing this with you guys. Um, traded that one for which I was cheaped out of. I didn't even think for that trade. Uh, Twenty or twelve bucks. Twelve bucks. Twelve bucks. Or no, this one I got in a just because that was free. Thank you, Red Sox FN. And twelve bucks. So. Overall, I have, what, about a hundred bucks invested in these cards, if not less, probably. But I'm going to try to go on a Mendenhall buying binge. I'm going to try to buy some more cards, pump up my PC. Strictly going to try to keep collecting Yankees and Steelers with a little bit of Lions because got to represent my home team. Uh, not going to be collecting the Tigers too much anymore, guys. And i uh, going to try to complete some sets. So, be on the lookout for that. Thanks for watching this video. Ran longer than I thought it would. And, uh, go Steelers.